For 10,000 years, the Emperor's Inquisition have fought a secret war to defend humanity. We keep vigil in the darkness. We hunt among the shadows. We pass judgment upon the mutant, the traitor, and the heretic. We purge the world of the taint lurking among the stars. We are Inquisitors. We shall fear nothing. For we are what you fear. Inquisitor's log. Classified report. Scheduled for later transmission. I am closing on the source of the Inquisitorial distress signal I was assigned to investigate. The coordinates I received from the Caligari Conclave led me to a desolate system. There were many delays during the journey. The intensity of the Caligari warp surges is beyond anything I've experienced. These anomalies are spreading through the subsector like a tidal the distress signal has an ancient encryption used by the Holy Orders. It is authentic, but extremely old. The signal is coming from a battered fortress monastery that was likely spat from the warp when the tide of the surges swept through the sector. There is no response to our hailing signals. Inquisitor, this is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. The hull looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? Something that once belonged to the Inquisition. And lots of empty holes. Sounds exciting. I've instructed your pilots to land on the hangar deck. Stand by and wait for my signal. Inquisitor, the automatic defense system has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. Do you... Captain, do you copy? Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Strange. Vox communication is jammed and I can't use my teleporter device. Something must be disturbing my signal. I will record everything in my audio log, in case I don't return. Inquisitorial log, new entry. While attempting to darken the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery, my transport took heavy fire. I suspect that the automatic weapon systems were activated, but I don't yet know why. The transport has been destroyed, along with my equipment. My pilot is dead. I will pray for him later. Interesting. Mindless servitors were created for menial tasks. But having a flesh drone just for operating the door seems excessive. Open the door! Hmm. An ancient cogitator. Let's see if the tech prayers still hold. It might have information about this place. Just as I suspected. It's a pile of rust. At least I found some interesting diagnostics. I should check all the cogitators on the ship for other details.
New log entry. I have found some human remains. The time of death seems recent. I don't like the look of the marks on the bodies. Something killed them with mindless brutality. Perfect weapon to deliver the Emperor's justice. Creature of chaos, can you withstand my faith? ship infested by chaos. So be it. Let's cleanse the taint then. Reloading. New log entry. I have found a room tainted by the filth of chaos. There is also a Tech Priest maintenance shrine with a functioning cogitator. It could contain information on how I could turn off the Vox Jammer. I found new information. There is an emergency cogitator nearby where I could turn off the jamming signals. Open the door! It is in the walls now. Everywhere. Taint. In the... machines. By the Emperor? What foul abomination is this? A talking servitor. It might be mind-locked, but this is still unusual. Well met, heretics. It is time for you to die. Finally, that's the cogitator that will disable the jammer. I couldn't turn off the teleportation jammer, but the Vox should be fine now. Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Inquisitor, finally! I thought we'd lost you. It would have been quite convenient for you, I suppose. Trust me, I'm on your side. I'm not saying I don't want my ship back. But who would clear my name if you died in battle? Your loyalty is quite admirable, Captain. Our Argos have picked up a Vox signal not far from your location. It is transmitting on an Imperial channel. It could be important. I'm on my way there. By the Emperor. What have you found down there, Inquisitor? Some unlucky members of an Imperial retinue. This is a shrine. Dedicated to the ruinous powers. Somebody really wants his dark wishes to be fulfilled. In other words, there's something on that ship that requires human sacrifice. Wonderful. found a corpse of an Imperial soldier. I'll take his data slate. It could contain a recording that could shed some light on what happened here.
found the body of a fallen Adeptus Astartus. What? Did you just say that there was a dead space marine down there? He must have been a member of that unlucky Imperial Reconnaissance team I found. Allow me to clarify that. You only found pieces of them. So it'll be just you against something that tore apart one of the mightiest champions of the Imperium. Don't jump to conclusions just yet, Captain. It could easily be more than one creature. speaking. Team Sigma, come in. I'm afraid Team Sigma won't be responding anytime soon. What? Who are you, and what are you doing there? Taking a stroll on the decks by the Emperor? Mind your manners. I am an Inquisitor, and I don't tolerate... An Inquisitor? About bloody time. I thought your lot had followed Lord Klosterheim into the Dark Zone. Listen. We're under heavy attack in the control room, so I'd appreciate it if you could join us while we deliver the Emperor's will until our most triumphant death, thawed out. New log entry. I established connection with someone from an Imperial expedition on the ship, but he is clearly confusing me with someone else. It's thawed again. Another wave of filth is on its way to face me in a glorious carnage. I want your help as soon as possible. Careful, Thorn. That was dangerously close to insolence. And you are definitely confusing me with someone else. You are an Inquisitor, which is enough for me right now. The whole deck is swarming with the local mongrel tribes, and they've sent their champions to rally the troops. I need you to eliminate these creatures. It will slow down the tribes. I'm entering the Sanctum of the Deck. It clearly used to be an Imperial Chapel, but the statues there are not familiar. When did this sacred fortress drift away from the light of the God Emperor? Inquisitor, our Argus are starting to pick up huge waves of hostiles approaching your position. Can you hold them off on your own? Captain, a long time ago I made an oath to protect the Imperium with no regard for my own life. Do you want to question my dedication? So what is your plan? My faith in the Emperor will protect me from the Faithless. I was also planning to blast through the Unclean with the devastating force of my weaponry. I'll have the transport ship ready, just in case. Welcome to the Martyr, Inquisitor. Not exactly the army I had imagined, but reinforcements at last. So, you do realize now that I don't belong to your expedition? I do, and I regret the confusion. We were not expecting any guests on this Emperor Forsaken Wreck. And first I thought that you must belong to Klosterheim's retinue. 
That fool brought a whole army of busybodies and interrogators with him. You must tell me everything about this man, his expedition, and the martyr. But first, I'll disable the teleport jabber. The cogitator that overrides the jammer is two hallways away, and the whole control deck is swarming with feral tribes. Why do you think I'm stuck in this hole? They're keeping us pinned down in here. Time to turn the tide together, Sergeant. Ready to fight! For the Emperor! Inquisitor, we have a problem. Now is not a good time. Well then, that was a pleasant warm-up, wasn't it? But Inquisitor, I'm sure they will drag their filthy god here to help them out. Their what? We interrogated some of these tribesmen. They are all descendants of the original crew. Anyway, during centuries of drifting through the void, one of their generations forgot about our holy emperor and found new things to worship. And what would this god be? Madness incarnate, they call it. It could be anything, if you ask me, but nothing good. At your command, for the emperor! Recoil, unclean! The thundering blast of weapons. I wish my brothers were here to hear this canticle of death. Talking about brothers, which chapter do you belong to? I'm not familiar with this iconography. I am Sergeant Caius Thorm of the Stormwatcher Space Marines. Explain. I don't know that chapter. I would be truly disappointed if you did. Our existence is secret, our numbers are few, and our burden is terrible. We are the Watchers in the Shadows, but rest assured, we are the Sanctioned Blades of the Calgary Conclave. Doing what, exactly? Dying gloriously during classified inquisitorial missions. Could we talk about this later? At your command! Truly doing the Emperor's work, Inquisitor. Keep it up. We've crushed their main forces. Let's move out and disable that jammer. Before their... what, their god arrives? Trust me, it is already close. I wonder what it looks like. After we have disabled the jammer, we must find Lord Klosterheim. Oh, yes. That two-faced hypocrite. I have already lost a battle brother because of him, and then he left me down here to die. But now, move! Oh, traitorous scum! Mockery to your honor! Perish, you filth! down there. Are you all right? I'm great. I've just killed a hell brute, a twisted mockery of a space marine. Praise the Emperor. I also have an Imperial space marine with grievous wounds, and I want to bring him aboard our ship. Inquisitor, listen to me. The monastery has turned on the warp drives and is ready to leave the star system. Disable the jammer now. I 
I've disabled the teleport jammer. At least I hope so. Inquisitor, you must teleport back before the ship leaves. We don't know where it's headed, and worse, the jelly shields are probably compromised. Warp travel will kill you. Hurry up, you don't want to get stranded over there. Inquisitor, my astropath has sent your audio log to the Caligari Conclave, as you requested. Let me guess. Another local warp surge manifestation swallowed the message whole. No, actually. We have received an official follow-up on your report. That must be a mistake. It's the Imperial bureaucracy. I wasn't expecting to hear from them for a few standard years. I have no idea what we found out there, but it must be really important. See for yourself. Inquisitor, we are raising your clearance level. You are henceforth authorized to listen to confidential information without facing immediate excommunication. Your discovery has greatly intrigued the Conclave. You have found a ghost of the past, Inquisitor. The Martyr had strong ties to the Inquisition, and as such, it is very important to us. We all thought that the fortress monastery had been destroyed, with the exception of Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim. He dedicated his life to finding the martyr, only to disappear without a trace. And now, you have proof of both the existence of the martyr and the whereabouts of Lord Klosterheim. We want answers. Continue this investigation. Evaluate the data. Gather new clues and find the martyr. Hopefully with Lord Klosterheim on board so he can explain his disappearance. We must remind you that this investigation requires absolute secrecy and it will be your task and your task alone. Our task is to find a ghost ship in the vast expanses of the Imperium. How hard could it be? The Space Marine I rescued was part of the expedition that found the Martyr somehow. If I can interrogate him, I'm sure he can help us. That man is in stasis at the moment. He was torn into pieces. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a warrior of the Adeptus Astartes is not a simple mortal we can treat. Indeed. We need a tech priest with unique skills and knowledge of the genetic material of the Adeptus Astartes. We need a Magos Biologus specialist, which could be difficult. I come from a long line of rogue traders, Inquisitor. I know the secrets of this sector, and I can tell you where to find the tech priest you need. The Merciful Agony is a hospital fortress in the Chernobog system. It's also a secret research station of the Adeptus Mechanicus. You'll find a Magos Biologus there. You have called for me, Inquisitor, and I am here to serve. From now on, I will need you on the bridge, Astropath. Connect to your fellow Astropaths in the choir of the Caligari Conclave, and pass me the messages which deal with priority assignments. As you wish, Inquisitor. Who are you, Thorn? You and your mysterious Storm Watchers. We will make you whole again. I have questions for you.
This is Metasurgeon Agrippa 723 Theta speaking. How can I assist you, Inquisitor? Your request cannot be granted. I suggest that you seek medical assistance elsewhere. Allow me to clarify. The Magos Biologus with the required skill set is unavailable. Current status. Assigned to priority level research for atonement and gathering of sacred data. Our brethren have been studying an epidemic on the St. Abelard Relay Station. We lost contact with the station recently. teams and the Imperial Guard troops arrive, and that could take time. Quarantine doesn't concern me, Captain. Think of me as decontamination crew and support team in one. Do you really believe that the Magos Biologus you seek is there, alive? There are still people on the station. Metrodora Thalema is a sacred priest of the Omnissiah. I believe she can take care of herself. a space marine, a legendary defender of the Imperium. It makes him the most important member of Klosterheim's retinue. Even if their relationship was as strained as it seems, it must have been very close to the Lord Inquisitor, and he could have knowledge of important details. of the martyr anywhere in the logbooks of my ship. This ship is ancient and has traveled everywhere in the sector and still nothing. I suspected that much. It was worth a try. I wish I had the treasured logbook of my rogue trader clan. It has been in the possession of my family since my ancestor received the warrant of trade. What happened to that logbook? It has disappeared when the inquisitorial purge destroyed the clan headquarters. It is indeed quite unfortunate, Captain. Inquisitor, our Argo readings have suddenly spiked to alarming levels. You've reached the center of the chaos infestation. Stay alert. to the data vaults. 
This is the central cogitator of the station. If this Magos Biologus tried to send a report to her superiors, it must be logged here. I missed the Magos Biologus on the station. I logged the three potential destinations where I could find her. I hope she's worth all this trouble. Inquisitor, I know you're getting impatient, but at least your search is drawing to a close. This is the last location where your Magos Biologus could be. Peaceful research spots, doesn't she? geneticist of the machine god. My extraordinary skill set is undoubtedly best employed here. I have an Adeptus Astartes with grievous injuries on my ship, and I need him walking and talking. How often do you have the opportunity to work on one of the angels made flesh? This new information requires me to reconsider. I will accompany you, Inquisitor. Update on the Space Marine. How is he? First, you need to know that each Space Marine has an artificial organ called the Sus An membrane. It allows them to enter a state of suspended animation if they're lethally injured. I'm bringing him back slowly. Meanwhile, I have already completed the sanctified surgical rites and supplied this man with bionic and mechanical implants. Can I talk to him? You can talk to me, Inquisitor. I can't promise to answer all your questions, though. First of all, who are you? Who are the Storm Watchers? With all due respect, I can't go into any classified details. You need to get the necessary clearance level first, but I can tell you this much. We are the Chamber Militant of the Conclave. We have been working for the Inquisitors of the Caligari Sector for a very long time. In secret. Do you always work for untrustworthy Inquisitors like Klosterheim? Klosterheim left me on the Martyr to die a useless death. Do I feel furious? By the Emperor, yes. But no, I don't think he is a heretic, if that is what you're implying. Do you have any ideas where he could be now? I am certain he is still on the Martyr. He is seeking something there. But I have no idea where the ship went. How did you find the Martyr in the first place? Klosterheim has ties to a mysterious sect of tech priests called the Requisitioners. They are the experts on the supposed tech relics of Uther Tiberius, the leader of the Martyr. They helped him to find the wreck. They have a research sanctum on Cardian II in the Cherneborg system. That's a lead of sorts. They might help me to find the monastery again. My 
assumptions were correct. The research sanctum has been attacked. I see signs of a recent struggle. I found the corrupted insignia of the Imperial Guard on the corpses. Deserters and heretics, that's for sure. But what were they doing there, looting the tech priest base? They must be either extremely reckless or very determined. I'll find out soon enough. What is this research sanctum exactly, Inquisitor? It belongs to one of the specialist divisions of the Adeptus Mechanicus, studying ancient artifacts. It surely has nothing to do with the whole complex being weirdly abandoned. Careful, Captain. You're being sarcastic again. Do you have any idea how these tech priests could have helped Lord Plusterheim? The Martyr is probably another ancient relic of the past. If anyone knows anything about that ship, I'll find him here. How are you planning to proceed if they're all dead? They are hoarders. If they have found anything useful, it will be here. Inquisitor, you have visitors. They seem to target the Cogitator. Then I will do my best to protect it. The plot thickens, Captain. You know, I really don't like the way you said that. These former Imperial Guards were working for the Tech Priests until recently. Then they were hired by a new patron to take out this facility. Considering that we're grasping for leads on a mythical ship that shouldn't even exist, this is not disturbing. At all. So what next? This infiltration team must have a commander. I'll hunt him down and ask him some questions. I'm sure he'll be willing to cooperate. And we need those tech priests alive, if they are still alive. At least one of them should be alive. The instructions I found were very specific. Accomplished. I found the commander of the infiltrators. And is he ready to cooperate? I'm sure he would love to assist the Inquisition if he were still alive. I'm afraid we have different definitions of success. Quite the contrary, Captain. I have found crucial information. First of all, I know where they took their tech priest hostage. Secondly, now I have proof that it was Lord Klosterheim who personally ordered the hit on these requisitioners. That's insane. Has he fallen to the ruinous powers? It is a possibility, but I reserve judgment. Inquisitors sometimes need to use radical solutions for the sake of the Imperium. But it's true. It doesn't look good.
Captain, we have no time to lose. The only survivor of the Tech Priest sect is the prisoner of these feral beasts. He could be my only lead. Warp travel in the sector is still dreadfully unpredictable, but I'll talk to my navigator. Your space marine is functional, Inquisitor, but barely. Reporting for duty, Inquisitor. That's absurd. For the time being, he needs constant medical supervision. I'll talk to the Master Chirurgeon of the ship. No, I'll stay on board. You evidently need a genius to work with your inferior equipment. The Emperor's blessing be upon me. I must get out of here and fight! Inquisitor, I stretched my mind deep into the warp and connected with my own kind. I can sense the worlds beyond and the cryptic messages flickering through the darkness, all meant for you. Spare me the colorful details, Astropath. I only need information on my assignments. Forgive me, Inquisitor. These vivid descriptions are my only joy in this servitude. in captain but it's too late the tech priest seems beyond repair switching language module from cant mechanicus to gothic apologies inquisitor proceed thank the emperor i've come for you i'll explain everything later now let's get out of here As I've already explained, I must find the Martyr, and I think you can help me. Correct. I am a Grade 5 Techno-Archaeologist, researching relics tied to the Martyr, and an archivist of the unverified existence of Uther Tiberius. Did you help Klosterheim find the Martyr? We supplied the Inquisitor with the artifact allegedly crafted by Uther Tiberius, codename Uther's Tarot. It is a psychoactive set of cards. I can grant you access to my scriptorium subroutines for more information. So, Klosterheim has this Uther's Terror which led him to the Martyr. How will this help me? According to current research, Uther Tiberius gave sets of this tarot to his acolytes to enable communication through visions for the advancement of his grand plan. And if I had another set of these mysterious artifacts, I could contact Klosterheim and find the Martyr. Right. Only one remaining set is known to exist. Location, Vault Zeta 11. Jurisdiction, Adeptus Mechanicus. Current status, complete lockdown. Reasons, classified. Location coordinates are being exploded to your navigator as we speak. I'm going to investigate the place. You stay on my ship until then. Acknowledged. Triggering mind cleansing sounds, type 3.43. Standing by. Tech Priest, this might be a good time to tell me about the reason for this lockdown. You are in an Archaeotech vault. A trove of ancient technology, mostly classified as heretical in nature, or deemed to be dangerous by the Adeptus Mechanicus. Let me guess. Something exploded. Or broke free. I cannot confirm. Still, I suggest extreme caution. Damn 
Demon Host. What have you been up to here, Tech Priest? According to the records, you located Subject 12 Cadder. Subject broke security protocol and annihilated 99.72% of personnel, thus initiating lockdown protocols. You experimented with this? Are you insane? The creation of a Daemon host condemns the host's soul to eternal torment! Initiating empathy modulator. Attempt failed. Found Uther's tarot. Now what? What you have in your possession is a special tool that Uther Tiberius designed for his grand project. Psychoactive cards that can allow communication through visions. Like the Emperor's tarot. Incorrect. Uther's tarot is quite different from the Emperor's tarot, both in symbolism and craftsmanship. But it is indeed a very potent tool. You must talk me through it when I get back to the ship. Tech Priest, I have obtained Uther's Terror. Now, I want you to tell me how it works. Research is still in progress. Insufficient data. If a deck like this was good enough for Klosterheim, I should be able to use mine to find the Martyr. Correct assumption. Uther's Terror is a psychoactive set of cards that needs a mental focus to search for echoes in the warp related to the given focus. Wait, if I concentrate on a specific idea, the Terror will... Guide me there? Define guide. The cards might show you a vision of the past, the present, or a possible future. More research needed. But the short answer is... Yes. I will need you to talk me through this again. Then I'm going to attempt to focus on the Martyr. Uther's Terror is showing me a vision of the Martyr. I've been expecting a prophetic message. But what I see is... A nightmare. There are places in this universe where madness reigns. Dominions of evil, where the taint of the other world trickles through. The martyr is one of these places. And fate has brought me to this haunted ship. The Martyr has been drifting in the warp for millennia. The wandering fortress monastery of Uther Tiberius has become an enigma I need to solve. I have sacrificed everything to find this ship. I've been hunting relentlessly for the Martyr since I pledged myself to this cause. Driven by my sacred oath, I've been roaming the Caligari sector for decades. I kill. I bargain. I made pacts and broke them, only to succeed where others have failed. And I'm still paying the price for my curiosity. I have lost so much. I have lost my mentor. 
I keep losing my allies. I've been stranded on a derelict filled with the filth of Nurgle and the failed experiments of Uther Tiberius. But I must prevail. Uther believed that the flesh was only a vessel. He thrusted his chosen ones into vile darkness and prayed to the God Emperor to turn them into holy weapons. He might have stumbled along the way. And it falls upon me to finish what he had begun. I believe that the Martyr holds the key to our salvation. There is something hidden on this ship that could change the future of the Imperium. I will cleanse this place with holy fire and righteous wrath. I will be transformed by pain and faith. I will find the secret of Uther Tiberius. Captain, I know where the Martyr is. Uther's terror showed me a vision of the Martyr and a fellow Inquisitor on the ship. And it all came to me with a very clear sense of a location in the subsector. We have arrived at the coordinates you provided. I don't know how you did it exactly, Inquisitor, but the Martyr is here. Uncanny. And speaking of uncanny, you also have a message from the Caligari Conclave. We continue to be impressed by your progress, Inquisitor. You have located the Martyr. Your methods might be unconventional, but they are rather efficient. It's time to land on the Martyr again. I can't stress enough how important it is that you find Lord Klosterheim. Remember, we need him alive, at least for the time being. He must be a repository of valuable information on the legacy of other Tiberius. The Emperor protects. The turrets didn't open fire this time. Your binary litany has worked. Obviously. My calculations predicted a remarkable 91.43% chance of your survival. I'm rather pleased you didn't mention this before. Now you will need to access the teleport beacon network. Wait. I have incoming hostiles. I'll take care of this first. about the teleport beacons. Correct. You need to find a functioning cogitator and access the teleport beacon map of the deck. Your chances of thoroughly exploring a fortress monastery this size are minuscule. You need to be able to avoid traveling long distances on foot. This is Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim speaking. I trust that you can hear me, but my current circumstances are not ideal for transmissions. I don't know who you are. I don't even know what you look like, so don't take this personally. I must command you to leave the Martyr immediately. You have stumbled upon an investigation that has been sanctioned by the Caligari Conclave, and which might have a huge impact on Holy Terror. Your presence here might lead to unnecessary complications. Leave now, and may the Emperor be with you. by your dedication, and I admire your decision. 
I'd say. Possibly a holy vision from the Emperor of Mankind. A call that must be answered. With all due respect, you should return to the ship. Nonsense, Captain. I'm fine. This is just a small inconvenience. I'll move on. Allow me to interrupt, Inquisitor. You simply cannot know that. However, I am an expert on toxins and plagues. It is time you properly utilize my capabilities. I will examine you the moment you return. I found the cogitator. What now? You listen to me carefully. Join with me in sacred numeric key and find the secrets. You'll gain access to the locations of all teleport beacons on this deck. I have the map of the local teleport beacon network. What now? The teleportarium requires exact coordinates. You must know Lord Klosterheim's location, and your chances to find him on the Martyr on your own are approximately zero. This sounds very reassuring so far. The analytical recitations show only one swift solution. I must warn you that the suggestion itself could be a breach of several Adeptus Mechanicus protocols. You must seek an audience with the Great Presence controlling the sensory systems on the Martyr. You need to talk to the Machine Spirit. How? I'm not familiar with the process. First you locate a mainframe cogitator. Then I will provide instructions. You have the results of my physical checkup. You know what could have caused that strange episode? Let me be very clear. Even a genius like me can't work miracles with inferior equipment like what you have on this ship. Still, your test results don't indicate that you suffer from any maladies that could have caused your symptoms. I have detected some interesting anomalies, though. What are you talking about? Very precise microscopic surgical marks on your brain. Traces of an old mind-cleansing process. I am an Inquisitor. We carry the burden of terrible truths and secrets that sometimes even we are not allowed to keep for long. Of course, I have been mind scrubbed before. And I'm certain that I should praise the Emperor that I was freed from dangerous memories. Could that be the cause of the symptoms? Normally? No. But you have only recently been experimenting with a unique psychic artifact. There is no data about this Uther's tarot. Fact! You risked using the deck, and now you have had an extraordinary psychic experience. I admit that it's a strange coincidence. Tech Priest, I want you to go over my mission details again. You need to find Lord Fosterheim, but you lack the data on his whereabouts. Consequently, the most logical solution is to find the authority with the actual knowledge. Conclusion, you must seek an audience with the powerful machine spirit of the Martyr. How should I do that? I am not a tech priest. Right. I'll guide you through the necessary administrator login litanies. First, you need to find a special terminal, a new sphere cogitator. Should I know what that is? This information is irrelevant for you at the moment. The closest terminal is located on Deck B, Umbra 11. Not far from your location. Praise the Omnis Sire. Recoil unclean! What shall I do when I find the mainframe cogitator? Place an incense state around the terminal, cleanse your soul of harmful emotional subroutines, recite the litany of mainframe access. 
You are aware that I can't perform any of those, right? I suggest that you open up the screen and enter your inquisitorial all access codes. You wanted to talk to me, Inquisitor? I need more information on Klosterheim. I'm very close now to him, but I'm still in the dark about his obsession with the Martyr. You used to be part of his retinue. What is he looking for? An ancient secret, that's all I know. Before he rose to the ranks, he used to serve under a Lord Inquisitor who was similarly obsessed with the hunt for the Martyr. But you might want to know that Klosterheim's superior, the Lord Inquisitor I mentioned, was apprehended and killed by the Grey Knights. The Grey Knights? What did he do? I have no idea, but it must have been something serious to earn that kind of attention. Don't jump to conclusions just yet, Sergeant. The Inquisition moves in mysterious ways, Thorn. It's never just light or dark. You should already know that. My duty will not end till I have carried out the task you gave me. I had another vision. Nothing serious, but it's an odd feeling. I feel like something is slowly unraveling before me, but I don't know what it is. I'm concerned about your condition, Inquisitor. We should take a look at you again when you return. Tech priest. I still can't log into the system. I have analyzed the available data. It is not the machine spirit preventing you from accessing the new sphere. I have fresh evidence that the network litanies have been modified on core level by a fellow brethren of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I can't turn off an override implemented by a tech priest. Correct. You will require my personal assistance. We must go to the data sanctum together where I will attempt to seek audience with the machine spirit by binding up of the Osis. You can return to the bridge now. Where are you, Tech Priest? What are you waiting for? The Orgus sensors show extreme levels of chaos infestation in your location. My current physical vessel lacks the necessary augmentations and blessed weaponry to fight this threat. I'll clear the area, then you follow me. of the machine spirit itself. I'll take that as a yes. I'm expecting significant resistance. I'll protect you while you are working.
ready to talk to me, Tech Priest? Yes, Inquisitor. We have been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. Omicron? No. This body is merely a temporary conduit for us, connected to our network through his neural implants. Our name is Sacred Binary Code and Arcane Hexadecimal Chant, but you can call us the Machine Spirit of the Martyr. We tried to communicate with you through mindless flesh before, but our efforts were ineffective. The Servitor in the Hangar Deck. That was you. It was an inadequate interface. This method of communication is unconventional and highly dangerous for the subject, but I had no other choice. The Martyr is harboring a great secret, Inquisitor, which we must protect at all cost before it falls into the wrong hands. You want to stop Inquisitor Klosterheim? Our goals correlate. We will show you where he is located at the moment. I must log off from this vessel before I damage him beyond repair. I will seek other channels of communication. What was all that down there, Tech Priest? Did I witness some tech heresy just now? No. I connected to a pure machine spirit, which had been upgraded to serve a specific purpose. I'm 100% certain of that. While my voice box was utilized by the machine spirit, the communion gave me partial access to some routines. So it is not an AI? It is not an abominable intelligence. It is something extraordinary. By sacred digital apotheosis and uploading rituals, a penitent soul became part of this machine spirit. It was not the creation of a sentient intelligence, but the blessed fusion of man and machine. What are you doing now? Filing away the memories in the sonic requilleries. Giving you the coordinates I received from the machine spirit. Lord Klosterheim is currently in the research cloister. I also need an explanation as to why anyone would tamper with the machine spirit in such an irregular way. Although the chances are infinitesimal, complex machinery may be vulnerable to the corruption of chaos. For some reason, Uther Tiberius wanted to reduce even that small chance to zero. I want to know more about that. Keep me updated. of my communion. The administrator prayers in the digital marginalia indicate that Uther Tiberius fused an incorruptible soul with the machine. But that is impossible. Unless... Unless you sacrifice someone who fought off a demon and became immune to corruption. Agreed. Such as would be a former demon host. Is that even permitted? I could list 136 sects within the Adeptus Mechanicus, which would start a doctrinal purge based solely on such a notion. But my sect has always believed in digital martyrdom. I consider this machine spirit a miracle. Now that you have access to the main core, I want you to find all records of demon hosts on the martyr. I've just completed my diagnostic meditations and reviewed the data. We can safely rule out the infection as the cause of your hallucinations. Then what is it? My theory is that the visions might be residual memories leaking through a hasty mind scrub. They could have been triggered by certain phrases or events. That's nonsense. Stop obsessing about my mental condition. As you command, Inquisitor. Uther Tiberius was creating demon hosts. The sheer number of subjects implies that he was trying to create a whole army of them. Uther Tiberius condemned a whole army to eternal suffering? The, the attached confession scrolls clearly prove that most subjects were volunteers. They wanted to be filled with unholy essence, then fight the taints in return, immune to the chaos. But 
That is insane. I cannot focus on that. Initially, the survival rate was deemed too low, and the project was abandoned. After decades of torture, he turned away from his own creations. I'm in the research cloister, Tech Priest. Incorrect. You are only approaching the gate of the research cloister, currently under quarantine. Proceed to the gate, Inquisitor. of a dead tech priest. I suspect he is the one responsible for overriding the local systems. Search the body for additional information, Inquisitor. Sigma, seven, omega, three, five, alpha. Interesting. The machine spirit is trying to communicate with us again. That is the emergency code for the lockdown protocols. The research cluster has been quarantined. You might not be able to leave if you enter. I should return to my ship then and make preparations before I enter that area. I've obtained the quarantine logs, Inquisitor. The research cluster has been sealed off on account of demonic infestation. You won't be able to leave the facility until it is secure. Trust me, it will be secured soon. scrub but so that is what you did eventually you sacrificed yourself but not in the way that I'd expected who are you who am I you used to be my mentor you were an inquisitor in pursuit of the greatest secret of the Caligari sector the research of Uther Tiberius I guess I didn't find it otherwise we wouldn't be standing here you got close, and you got careless. You made questionable choices that attracted the attention of first the Conclave, then the Grey Knights. And there is no escaping from the secret protectors of the Imperium. Only death absolves, right? So that was your plan. You sacrificed your former self. And I have returned as someone else. You told me to take on your mantle, and I obeyed. Through pain and fire, I hunted relentlessly for the Martyr. I did what you taught me. I fought, investigated, made packs and broke them when I had to. And when the warp spat out Uther's floating fortress monastery, I was ready to find it. And my path eventually led to the Martyr as well. It cannot be a coincidence. Only the Empress will, because you found me now when I'm so very close to finding Uther's greatest secret. We must talk about this, but first we purge this area. Uther Tiberius wanted to create an army of former demon hosts. He sacrificed countless lives, sentenced them to damnation, only to make a handful of survivors immune to chaos. I think I know why the Martyr had to leave the Segmentum Pacificus. It's insane. A whole army of loyal warriors immune to the warp? Ready to conquer the Immaterium? Once you would have embraced the idea. I am not the same person anymore. I pray to the Emperor that you are.
Are you ready? Time to purge the unclean, Inquisitor. Side by side, like we used to. Detected. Lockdown deactivated. Good work. Tell me, Klosterheim, did you miss all this? I refuse to burden myself with redundant thoughts and emotions. But I admit, it was a satisfactory experience to fight that battle together. The research cloister is connected to Uther's inner sanctum. That is where Uther secreted away his most treasured research. Are you ready to enter? I need to return to my retinue first and make the necessary preparations. I'm not going to your ship. Trust me. Where would I go? I will meet you here when you return. Is this the inner sanctum? This is the genitorium that powers the various dissection chapels and the laboratoriums in the sanctum. But we are close. You are different, Inquisitor. And yet you are the same. But it is disturbing. I used to be the one hunting for the martyr, and now you have all the answers. That's disturbing. If it's any consolation, you were right all along. Uther Tiberius had a secret that could have changed the fate of the Imperium. And you've learned the nature of this secret, I assume. Indeed. It's a weapon with immense powers. Have you ever discovered the truth about Uther's secret weapon? I have only heard rumors. The real answer lies here. I know that it could save the Imperium of Man from the tides of chaos, and that Uther Tiberius risked excommunication from the Inquisition to create this weapon. I have found some very old human remains here. They belonged to the crew of the Martyr. When Uther's followers turned against him, the monastery was consumed by war. It crippled the ship eventually. What's the sigil on the wall? It resembles a demonic mark fused with Xenos and Imperial symbols. Uther called them Empyrean Seals. He studied forbidden summoning rites and the arcane machines of a lost civilization, and combined them with sanctioned practices. The Seals trap the essence of destroyed demons, so they can't get back to the warp to reform. Uther wanted to conceal the existence of his secret weapon, even from the minions of Chaos. I feel far too close to heresy. What are you talking about? We must fight fire with fire. You taught me that. And I am not the same person anymore. The inner sanctum is cut off from the rest of the ship, making it a black sight. Even the machine spirit doesn't have eyes or ears there. How do we get through the stasis field? I've seen similar security systems on the ship. The status field must be deactivated, using two different terminals in different places, at the same time. Tiberius was indeed quite protective of his secrets. Proceed to the first cogitator. It must be close. I'll find the other one. Deactivate the stasis field. Are you ready? I'm under heavy fire, but I can access this terminal. Proceed. 
The stasis field is down. Head back here. I can't. The savages are bringing in some demonic reinforcements. I must retreat and find another way back. Proceed into the inner sanctum. I'll catch up with you. Osterheim, if you can hear me, I'm heading towards the inner sanctum. Meet me there. Thorn, I found the body of a word bearer. The fields of Logar. What are they doing on the Martyr? There is just one, and he looks dead. I was wrong. He is alive. Another traitor marine lies on the ground. In the fields where it belongs, I wish I could be fighting by your side. According to the message I found, there were more of them, and they were trying to extricate data from the specific cogitators. The word bearers are seekers of terrible secrets. I advise you to find out what they were looking for on the Martyr. The analysis of the security logs is complete. Area closed down due to a hostile incursion 3.64 standard imperial years ago. Intruders identified as word bearers. So there was a whole war band. They came here to find something, but were trapped on the ship. Inquisitor, you are approaching the coordinates of the first cogitator marked by the hostiles. Time to find out what they were looking for. Tech Priest, inload the flagged pict recording from this cogitator. This woman might be the key to Uther's secret experiments. In progress. Record is tagged as alpha trials and provide research. Is she a psychic blank? The antithesis of a psyker? Did Uther Tiberius test his secret weapon on someone without any presence in the warp? Commencing analysis. Incredible. A soulless one absorbing psychic energy is normal, but she's deflecting the attacks. I have never seen anything like this. Whatever she is, this would explain the interest of those traitorous maggots. It sounds like something the word bearers would want to have. Tech Priest, I have no new records to send you. But I have discovered that even Uther's people found that strange test subject extremely disturbing. Total absence of information in the accessible data looms on the Martyr. The existence of the subject has been erased from the archives. Whatever this creature is, she must have been Uther's greatest secret. I must find out more. I have analyzed the previous inloads. The binary illuminations in tape recordings contain the encrypted coordinates where the subject was held during the tests. Tell me. Decryption complete. The location of the inner sanctum is at your disposal. Perfect. Master Heim, can you hear me? I can hear you. I lost your signal in that nightmarish tribal camp. I liberated some captured members of my expedition. Where are you? I'm in the Inner Sanctum. In a scriptorium, I suppose. Uther Tiberius had his own secluded laboratory there, where he must have kept his personal cogitator. Find that room. I 
to warn you, Glosterheim. Several Empyrean seals have been destroyed here. My guess is that it was work of the word bearers. The trapped demons are loose. Expect heavy resistance on your way in. What? Word bearers? On a monitor? The most disturbing thing is that they seem to be aware of the secret, too. sent us his servant to suffer the most glorious torture imaginable. Spare me the monologue, creature, and prepare to die. Tell me, Inquisitor, what did you expect to find here? I was led here by dark prophecies and magnificent fever dreams. But you? You have no idea what we are about to unleash on your Imperium. Enough of your gibberish. Die! located Uther's personal cogitator. First, I had to explain to the word-bearer filth that they are not allowed to touch it. I'm so worried about their presence on the ship. Access the cogitator immediately. What have you found? The proof we needed. Uther's secret weapon was a unique pariah, who is capable of the impossible. She didn't just banish demons. She utterly destroyed them. Powerful weapon against the filth of chaos. And she could have had a significant impact on the fate of the sector or the whole Imperium. We need to know what happened to her. Uther Tiberius had a meditation chamber in the Sanctum where he must have kept his personal notes. Find that room. I'm, I'm in Uther's meditation chamber. I can see a journal. Open it. Have you read the journal? I have, and it contains some surprising revelations. Even Uther Tiberius was horrified by the powers of the Alpha Pariah. That's what he called her. Did he kill her? No. He locked her away in the main stasis chamber. Which means that she must still be alive. This is incredible. And we have a Chaos Sorcerer on the ship who knows about her, too. I'm on my way to the chamber. I'm almost there. I'll meet you at the entrance. Together again, at last. Are you ready? The secret of the Martyr is within arm's reach. Just imagine the possibilities of the Alpha Pariah is still there in stasis. Now you are talking like the Inquisitor I used to know. Let's go to the stasis chamber. I see you found reinforcements against the word bearers. These men are the members of my expedition. I thought they were killed. I was wrong, fortunately. 
Behold the words of the prophecy in the darkest reaches of the void, on the cursed monastery hidden among the living storms. Here is the anathema that shall be destroyed. I will make the revelation come true. Not while I breathe, creature. Death to the servants of the court's emperor. <laughs> to open the gate? Wait, I see human remains. One of Uther's acolytes by the looks of it. Let's take a look. Anything useful? That is an understatement. Now we know that Uther Tiberius was gravely wounded during the rebellion in the monastery. His trusted men decided to take him off the martyr, with a certain Captain Van Winter at the helm of the rescue ship. He had secured the secret weapon before he fell, though. What is this? Remarkable. It looks like a barrier of pure psychic energy. A tapestry of madness made substance. Another example of Uther's arcane designs, I suppose. Are you ready to enter? I have died for this secret once. I must be the one who walks through that barrier. of the Emperor. I cannot enter. Did you see anything? She is there. The Alpha Pariah is inside, so close and yet unreachable. There must be a way. No, you were right. This barrier was designed by Uther himself, and he made sure that nobody can enter without his authorization. The barrier can only be disabled with his inquisitorial rosette. But... A rosette is the personal symbol of our authority. Each rosette is unique, and Uther has been dead for centuries. It is impossible. You are telling me that it was all in vain? We have failed. No. Uther Tiberius was taken from the Martyr to an unknown destination, and I will find where that place is. I am an Inquisitor. Nothing can remain hidden from me. I will uncover that rosette, even if I have to burn down the whole sector. Ready to fight. What is our next step? We are treading on dangerous ground. Uther Tiberius was so obsessed with fighting the powers of chaos that he ventured too far. Even his most trusted followers turned against him when they realized what he was planning to do. Who cares about ignorant fools? You must surely be aware what the Alpha Pariah could become. Uther Tiberius wanted to destroy the Gods of Chaos so desperately that he decided to create a god of his own. Yes, I understand. 
And this is why we must continue his work. For the Emperor. You are right. We must use her powers to fight the tides of chaos. The fate of Imperium justifies the means. You are a dedicated warrior to the cause. And I salute you. I'm also risking excommunication and death. But first, I have to find the Rosette. And I need your help to secure this chamber while I'm gone. I will remain on the Martyr to protect Uther's secret with my life. But are you aware of the potential consequences? At your command! Captain, are you serious? You want me to believe you didn't know that the founder of your rogue traitor house was the captain of the Martyrs centuries ago? I swear by the light of the God Emperor Inquisitor that I am just as shocked by this revelation as you are. I need a better explanation, Captain. Inquisitor, our house has followed strict traditions for long centuries. One of those traditions concerns our sacred history. Our ancestral secrets were kept in a treasured logbook, only accessible by the Van Winter sitting on the throne of the house. And who would that be? Nobody. Almost my entire clan has been purged on account of their heretical acts. I was found worthy of redemption, and I'm assisting the work of the Inquisition as a simple captain. Do you think your logbook could help me? Yes. It has been in our possession since Gregor Van Winter, the man whose trail you seek, received the Warrant of Trade. It must contain all his accounts, too. What happened to that logbook? It was hidden on our flagship, the Astute Cavalier, but it disappeared when my father was executed. The logbook must still be in the hold, in a secret compartment. So, I only have to find a fugitive ship in this sector. Sounds easy. My family had a hideout in this subsector on a void station. Those who survived the purge probably ended up there. And strangely, it didn't occur to you to share this information with the Inquisition. No. Don't answer that. Take me to the void station. This is a despicable hive of heresy and corruption. Our crew members became wanted fugitives after the purge. They found refuge and sought to make a livelihood the best way they could. It still won't absolve them from their sins against the Imperium. What should I be looking for? Each of our void stations had a harbor master to supervise the operation of the port facilities. If the Cavalier still frequents this place, which I'm sure it does, this man must know its whereabouts. Doesn't look too talkative. Perish. The harbor master refused interrogation. Tell me he wasn't my only lead. Maybe not. All our harbor masters used to log everything into a central cogitator. I'll find that cogitator. Captain, are you familiar with a man called Nathaniel Grexis? He was my father's most trusted captain. A boisterous fellow, but a good man. Your former house members made a pact with a cult and he refused to follow them into total depravity. They keep him locked up here somewhere. I would humbly suggest that you find him, then. He could be useful. Blood. 
dogs. <laughs> Captain Grexis, I need you to come with me. I need a few bottles of Amasek to invigorate my weary soul. And then I'm off to kill all these mongrels. They have already paid for their crimes, Captain. Ah, I hope you made them suffer. How can I assist you then? I must find the astute cavalier. It might have visited this station. It was here, I. Until the sniveling rats sold our flagship to a group of abhuman filth. Oh. Do you know where the cruiser is now? No, but I've heard rumors about where it's heading. Take me with you, and I can help. My sweet Ragna. What a cheerful sight for these sore eyes. Captain Grexus. I haven't seen you since you vanished without a trace. Right after you were proved innocent. It was shameful of me, I know. But I simply couldn't bear to witness how others suffered for your father's misgivings. You are talking about a house purged for charges of heresy. House Van Winter was filled with shady elements, no question about that. Some of them even kept me as a prisoner. Your point being? Not all of them are backstabbing scoundrels. Ragnar deserves a clean slate, and you won't find a better ally in the sector. Apart from old Grexis, of course. Start with telling me where I can find the Cavalier. I overheard my former crew members gossiping about this cult, and a world they were planning to visit with the ship. I'll give your navigator the coordinates. channels are reporting a serious demonic incursion. This world is teetering on the brink of destruction. Which indicates that the Cavalier could still be here. Those accursed cultists spread the taint of chaos like a disease. The Arvice channels keep repeating the name of their leader, the Blood Drinker. I may have arrived just in time. I'll find him and interrogate him about the Cavalier. blood drinker. The man, the myth, the target. I'll take him out, but I'll use non-lethal methods. He is incapacitated. Take him to the ship, and have the Magos Biologus prepare the necessary serums. Understood, Inquisitor. The interrogation was successful, Inquisitor. The subject embraced the biochemical gifts of the Omnisire wholeheartedly. You can find my report on your data slate. Give me an outline. The Chaos Cult that acquired the Cavalier was following the commands of a Chaos Sorcerer. I won't utter its name. It burns my tongue like bile. So they were spreading the taint on the orders of the word bearers. That Sorcerer recently ordered the Cavalier to return to their headquarters. I have the location for you. I'm on the 
Cavalier. It doesn't look good, Captain. The cultists clearly didn't believe in regular maintenance protocols. Those filthy scoundrels. Let us hope that they will see the error of their ways soon. First I will take care of the word bearer scum. Then I will find the law book. What a surprise! Did you come to witness our victory, Inquisitor? I came to serve you the Emperor's justice, just like I did with your foul brothers. Hermetic creature! You cannot stop what is coming, even if you kill every one of us, which you won't. Paris, Bill! into your father's case. These word bearers were acting on orders from the sorcerer I encountered on the Martyr. They were trying to find Uther's Rosette and lured your father into a trap to reach their goal. In the light of these details, is there any chance that the name of my family could be cleared? Your father acted irresponsibly, but he was not a willing servant of chaos. We'll see. First, I need that logbook. Go to my father's private quarters and find his personal cogitator. It will open the chamber where he kept his most treasured possessions. The door is open. I'm going inside. I have found the logbook, but I can't open it. Take the log back to the ship, Inquisitor. It can only be opened by my ancestral signet ring, which is coded to my DNA. I have opened the logbook, Inquisitor. It was extraordinary. I held in my hands the entire secret history of my house. I trust it will make fascinating reading, but for now, I only need the details about Uther Tiberius. I can tell you where Gregor Van Winters took the survivors of the Martyr, but that happened a very, very long time ago. It is the only lead I have. Take us to those coordinates, Captain. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Meanwhile, you have a message from the Conclave. This is a message from Inquisitor Helena Gosler. I must tell you, I was in charge of purging the Van Winter family. I have learned that you have reopened the investigation, and in all honesty, I find your decision perplexing. All my actions follow the decrees of the Lex Imperialis and spiritual guidance gained through rigorous penitential practices. Now it falls upon you to make a new decision regarding the future of this house. Captain, I have made my decision regarding the fate of your house. Your father participated in forbidden practices, but his intentions were not heretical. The name of your house will be cleared. I'm still counting on you and your ship in the future, though. Thank you, Inquisitor. I am very grateful. Rest assured, I will serve your cause with absolute dedication. this place exactly according to the port cogitators it used to be a mining station then it was turned into a colossal plague ward during a system-wide outbreak i need more information on its history i will locate the central cogitator it may be able to tell me more I 
found an area previously classified as a shrine, but it was sealed off almost a thousand years ago. If this place used to be a sanctuary for Uther, his followers must have walled off his most private chambers after he died or left. I'm on my way there. I have found the gate leading to those ancient corridors. It is sealed. Proceed to the cogitator to open it. Follow my instructions. side. be the right place. It looks like a tomb, but it is empty. But if these Utherians laid their leader to rest here, there is the body. Do you request a proper on the rate of human decomposition over millennia? Don't try my patience, tech priest. Even the bones are missing. I'll take a look around. I have found proof that this place was raided by an inquisitorial team. They took away Uther's remains. But why? The survivors suspected treachery, that I know. You have visitors. The Inquisitorial ship dispatched a team to the station, and they're heading towards your position. I'll meet them halfway. I am Interrogator Koltar. You are in breach of Code Indigo Protocols, Inquisitor. Even the agents of the Holy Orders need a special permit to enter this area. I must ask you to lay down your weapons and follow me into custody. How dare you address me like this? I will do no such thing, interrogator. My sincere apologies, Inquisitor. But I must follow me orders. You have left me no choice. Kill him! I unclean! I was only following the orders of Inquisitor Flavius Draken. Why would an Inquisitor send agents against other Inquisitors? My orders were extremely specific. After Inquisitor Draken removed the body buried in this tomb, he set up a team to monitor the station and act immediately if the area is breached. The Inquisitor Flavius Draken took away the remains? Where can I find this man? The last time we had contact, he was preparing for a special assignment. The Conclave must have records on his mission. Trust me, I'll find him. We have a message for you, Inquisitor, and the coordinates of a world in the subsector. I have received your request, Inquisitor. I would strongly recommend that you provide more details on the background of your inquiry next time. Still, I see no harm in disclosing the current whereabouts of Inquisitor Draken. Your fellow agent is currently doing the Emperor's work on a world consumed by the flames of the war against Chaos. A whole planet cleansed with blood. They could surely use the help of other Inquisitors. I supposed to find an Inquisitor in the middle of a war zone? Draken's last known location was at the command center. In the meantime, the unclean maggots have surrounded the fortifications. Should I fight the entire army on my own? You will carry the Emperor's will as your torch. You can destroy the armies of darkness. A 
any suggestions how? I am listening in on the Astra Militarum box chatter. They have a shadow sword tank ready to break the party near your location. Then I will requisition that tank. Ready to fight. Attention, guardsmen. Inquisitor taking command. At ease, Commander. Awaiting your orders, Inquisitor. By the powers vested in me, I hereby requisition your vehicle. Take me through the enemy lines to the command center. Yes, Inquisitor. With an agent of the Holy Orders among us, we have nothing to fear. I know it goes without saying, Inquisitor, but we will do everything we can to help. We will follow your commands whatever the situation. But on top of that, you are looking for Flavius Dragon. The man is a hero to us. Too late. The enemy has already captured the command center. I strongly suggest you find the communications room. There must be some evidence of what happened to the defenders. I'm on my way. I'm at the communications center. I'll check the logs for the last few Vox messages. The situation is very grave. The traitor marines have destroyed the defenses. I even found a knight on the list of casualties. Those mongrels have destroyed the combat walker. Curses be upon them. The traitors took prisoners. I'm going to rescue them. There is still hope that someone has information about Draken. The prisoners are still alive. The slavering traitors spared them so they could torture them and brainwash them into servitude. They will pay for this. Praise the Emperor! You have saved us all from a terrible fate, Inquisitor. I'm only doing the Emperor's work. I must find Inquisitor Draken. Is he here? Inquisitor Draken had to make a decision, and he made it with a very heavy heart. When he realized that the city could not be saved, but the rest of our world still has a fighting chance, he has returned to his fortress. He is keeping the main Chaos forces occupied until reinforcements arrive. of the Crimson Wanderer at your service. Well met, sir. You are a free blade, aren't you? A lonesome warrior reporting for duty. Sir Caradoc, roaming the sector, fighting our enemies, and aiding the helpless. Did the traitorous scum really destroy your knight? They had something more obscene in mind. But that would have taken longer, and I know in my heart that the Crimson Wanderer is still waiting for me in the hangar. I must reach Draken's fortress immediately. You need to cross the city to get there, and it has become a ruined battlefield, crawling with armies of monstrosities. A 
but don't lose heart, Inquisitor. The true gifts of the Emperor come at the most unexpected moments. What do you have in mind, Sir Caradoc? This is a quest worthy of the Crimson Wanderer. I will take it upon myself to fight my way through the battlefield and clear your way to the fortress. is under siege. The gates have been destroyed and I see signs of heavy fighting. The attackers couldn't have ventured too deep. They must have broken through the defenses only recently. What about Flavius Draken? I think the Inquisitor Dragon is still alive. I'm monitoring all Vox channels and I would have heard about his demise. Then I will find him without delay. Inquisitor. That's what I call perfect timing. Did the Conclave send you? No. I came of my own volition. After all, you tried to have me killed. Ah. You must be the one who sent my interrogator fleeing. The time of reckoning has come, has it not? It seems so. Do you want to execute me? Will you make it look like I perished during the battle? That's what I would do. I don't doubt it. At the moment, I only want to talk to you, Draken, about Uther Tiberius. You really chose the most untimely moment to interrogate me. I'll make sure that you survive, and I'll get my answers after that. Sounds reasonable. I'll take care of this side. You deal with the rest. Get ready! The traitors are launching a full-scale attack against the Fortress Inquisitor. I will wade into the Dark Tide with blazing weapons. Inquisitor, you make a valuable ally, or a 
fearsome adversary. What do you want to know about Uther Tiberius? You removed his vestiges from his tomb, and you set up a kill team to protect the secret. I want to know where Uther's remains are. You are looking for Uther's sacred vestiges, but you seem to have no idea what you're dealing with. I will tell you anything, Inquisitor. Draken, I've been following the trail of Uther Tiberius for a very long time. Believe me, what I found on the Martyr could have grave consequences for the Imperium. So talk to me. What? You visited Uther's sacred monastery? Forgive me, I, I didn't realize. He must be the one our mutual friend mentioned. My sincerest apologies, I thought he was mistaken. Where are the remains? The tomb wasn't secure anymore. The guardian of the corpus became weak and old, just like our order. I had to make a hard decision. We had to transfer the sacred vestiges to a safer place. It's on a moon, a moon that isn't even charted. You can find the coordinates in the cogitator. I have all the answers I was looking for. I'm on my way back. Inquisitor. We have arrived at the coordinates you gave me. Where are we, Captain? Honestly, I have no idea. This moon doesn't appear in any Imperial records, although it houses an Ecclesiarchy Cathedral. Anything else I should be aware of? Our Argus keep picking up disturbing warp signatures from this segment of the Void. However, there is an Imperial fortress defending the Cathedral. It could hold the answers you need. We see signs of recent struggle everywhere. Whatever this place is, it has been ravaged by chaos recently, and the hostiles must still be here. Noted. I will explore the area first. Inquisitor, we're having a hard time keeping the ship a safe distance from the warp anomaly. Do you have any idea what this place could be? A moon that has been erased from the archives. Also, it is right in the vicinity of a warp anomaly, which shelters the cathedral from any psychic divination. A clever hiding place. In other words, it is one of the most well-hidden reliquaries in the sector. Indeed. It could also mean that Uther's followers have considerable influence in the Conclave. The sensor's located, but imperial distress signal emanating close to your location. Who is transmitting? Identification codes mark the sensor as a member of the Ecclesiarchy. I'll look into it. By the grace of the Emperor, an inquisitorial agent at last. In my darkest hours, I almost believe that you had abandoned us. Who are you, and what happened here? I am Brother Tilhart, and I am a sinner. Sinners we all were. We brought this upon us. We should have never have brought the holy relic to this forsaken moon. Could you be more specific, priest? You don't have to worry, Inquisitor. We all went through proper mind-cleansing rituals. Rest assured, I don't remember the name of the Imperial Saint. At least that information is still secure. Who gave you this assignment? A most revered agent of the Holy Ordos. He never told us his name. When did the filth of chaos arrive? When the ancient anchor engines first manifested problems, I begged my brothers to seek assistance from the cult Mechanicus, but they didn't listen. And then the rotten stigma flared up, the machine started to slow down, and suddenly the moon was teeming with these accursed traitors. Where are they? I'm afraid they have entered the cathedral. But I can tell you the whereabouts of a secret entrance. You must stop them. You should go to my ship. My oath prevents me from leaving this place, Inquisitor. But I'll stay in contact with you all along the way. Inquisitor, you have 
plug it into the vaults of the blessed machines. Stop those creatures before they destroy the anchor engines. What kind of machinery would that be? The blessed instruments crafted by the Court Mechanicus. They channel the powers of prayers and alleviate warp energies to prevent this moon from drifting into the heart of the anomaly. In other words, I must not let the Black Legion destroy them. Thanks before it's too late. Face them in the engine rooms before they bring destruction on everything here. Brother Teelhard, is there anything I should know about these sacred machines? You must be exceptionally careful in the main engine room. We can only imagine what would happen if the Blessed Anchors were destroyed. You mean, besides being swallowed by the warp surge? We have been plagued by holy premonitions about a sudden upsurge in the anomaly. Premonitions? I saw a colossal tear in the void and an unrelenting flow of madness spewing through the hole. Inquisitor, we have detected an incoming void craft. The vessel is approaching the moon at considerable speed. Stay alert and keep me updated. Inquisitor, the incoming vessel is transmitting inquisitorial authentication codes. They are asking us to surrender. Tell them that you have engine malfunctions. I'll deal with them later. Not too late, mortal. Your ridiculous machines will be destroyed. We will open up the wound. You only wish, creature. Parish built! Traitors must still be in the main engine room. I'm on my way. They're destroying the anchor machines. The tide of darkness is upon us. Fight, Inquisitor. Fight into the dark wrench of eternal glory. Machines have been seriously damaged. We are gone then! Sooner or later the warp will engulf this moon for good! I'm returning to my ship to deal with another urgent matter. Are you ready to join me? I cannot leave, Inquisitor. I took an oath, and I will not leave. Inquisitorial ship is in orbit around the moon. If we don't surrender, they will purge my ship on charges of heresy. I don't understand. I've already warned them that we have an Inquisitor on board. I will talk to the Inquisitor in charge. What are you going to do? I can't engage a ship belonging to the Holy Ordos. The Inquisition is a colossal organization with several factions. It must be an unrelated operation. It happens. They must be investigating the warp anomaly. They have dispatched a dropship to the Cathedral as we speak. Interesting. Maybe it is not about the anomaly, but Uther's vestiges. I'll return to the moon. Inquisitor, you have returned to the Sabuka. You are truly blessed with zeal and courage. I have no choice but to recover that relic before catastrophe strikes. You are running out of time. 
I will pray for you, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, you are interfering with my mission. I must command you to leave. I shall not. You will surrender, and I will take the vestiges. Your methods make a mockery of our sacred doctrines. I seriously doubt it. My investigation has been sanctioned by the Conclave since the earliest stages. Allow me to rephrase it for you. It has been sanctioned by Lord Maldor. But Lord Maldor is currently facing serious accusations. He is a man of grand delusions and questionable decisions. We simply cannot allow a relic of such importance to fall into the hands of someone who contradicts the purity of our dogma. I will not allow you to take this relic. This is my mission. This is my fate. You have left me no choice, Inquisitor. This is the tomb of Uther Tiberius. It is somewhat underwhelming. I finally have his rosette. But where is his body? We have never seen the body. We were sworn to protect the sacred relic alone. Even in his death, Uther Tiberius presents another mystery. You must leave, Inquisitor. Don't be concerned about me. I will stand guard here. What will happen to you? I will begin the most glorious task of my long servitude. I will keep watch on that gaping wound in the void. I will toll the bells and call our holy warriors here to fight the endless tides of destruction. May the Emperor give you strength, brother. I see festering nightmares walking the decks. Bloated bodies swollen with foul corruption. Creatures that no longer feel pain. The martyr is in danger. I must return immediately. Inquisitor, we have returned to the coordinates of the martyr. I'm afraid there have been some troubling developments. Explain, Captain. We have detected a void ship in the service of chaos near the martyr. Sensorium data shows that Uther's monastery is teeming with the forces of Nurgle. This is not a raiding party, but a full-scale invasion, Inquisitor. What is your plan? The Martyr has become an infested war zone. I cannot open up the stasis chamber at the moment. It would be too hazardous. I will deal with Nurgle's filth first. Trust me, you will soon regret coming here, you fool. Thanks to its shielding, you can do nothing that would harm the chamber. I'm 
Emergency. Communication protocol. Active. Inadequate. Interface. It is an honor talking to you, spirit of the machines. The thing in the walls is stirring. What has been ensnared will be set free. You are speaking in riddles. I must know more. Every broken seal drains energy from the arcane technological security grid. The prime seal still contains the most powerful entity, the thing. The thing in the walls? A demon that hunts the martyr? Alpha, subject, is in danger. System shut down in progress. To my humble abode, Inquisitor. The Prophet of Decay will grant you an audience now. What do you want, creature? Are you insane? You don't talk to them. You kill them. I have a problem. Unlike other simple minded servants of the False Emperor, your Tiberius was bold enough to experiment beyond your foolish limitations. You are just babbling now. Right. Right. See, the heart of the unusual psychic barrier he created is a seal with one of us trapped inside. Even if I break all of his decisions, I still need his rosette to open up the prime seal. If you give me the key, I will return your laptop to you. Really? That was all you could offer? Why? I want to liberate the Greg one. And you want that freak black soul in the chamber. You even get to save this nobody. Don't succumb, Inquisitor. Kill it, or let me die. I wasn't planning to negotiate with you, creature. But I always enjoy watching how your kind tries to lure victims with such weak attempts. Wonderful. I was planning to kill you anyway. Isn't it great that we can both stick to our traditions? I failed the Emperor twice. First, I couldn't kill all of them. Secondly, I let them take me alive. Come with me to the Stasis Chamber. With the seals corrupted, the whole ship is danger. As far as I know, some of them are still intact in the Generatorum. I'll guard that area to buy you some time. The Emperor be with you. Join me in the Stasis Chamber when you are finished. the stasis chamber again. Catherine, in the chaos infestation and get to the psychic barrier. I'm on my way to the seals. Give them no quarter. Are you prepared for what is to come? I see that you have gained some control over these vessels. The thing in the walls is a trapped presence that has been haunting the martyr for centuries. I have been fighting it, but now, with the seals broken, it could be free. I will take care of this thing in the walls, whatever it is.
I am ready to use the rosette on the psychic barrier. Magos, are you certain that this won't have grave consequences? The nature of the force field is beyond our expertise. However, if you have doubts about finding this alpha subject, we have analyzed all related data we have gained from the data crocs. Do you have any idea what she could be? Rest assured, she's a healthy specimen, both physically, mentally, and emotionally. I can't comment on her capabilities, though. What is happening? The Imperial Seal Network collapsed. Barrier destroyed. But that wasn't supposed to happen. Correct. However, with 96.4% of the network destroyed, the barrier couldn't resist the burst generated by the rosette. And what exactly does that mean? Prime Seal has been destroyed. Stored demonic essence will be released. Are you telling me that by opening the barrier, I have unleashed that thing trapped on the ship? Correct. Sensors indicate a colossal amount of warp energy manifesting in the stasis chamber. I'll make the necessary preparations on the ship then before I enter. What do I have to do to wake up the Alpha Pariah from stasis? My understanding is that the stasis pods are stored in a colossal shaft. You must activate the retrieval mechanism at the cogitator first. I'll guide you through the rest after that. But there is something else. What is it? When loaded schematics, place a room near you as Uther's meditational chamber. I will take a look at it first. Uther's experiments, the mysterious origins of the Pariah, the prophecy, I have bad feelings about this. I need more information. I'm at the cogitator. I've self-digested the data pulp from the Uther's cogitators, and we have the registry number for the pod. I will call it up immediately, and then... The pod will be transferred to the Chamber of Awakenings. How long will all that take? The servitors will start the necessary protocols. They also provide clothes and rejuvenating tinctures for the subject. It will take some time, though. I don't really have much time, Magos. It is true. The readings from the stasis chamber are extremely disturbing. The fluctuation of warp energies indicates a greater manifestation. strength during my greatest battle. Greater demon. Inquisitor, the demon wasn't just banished. Its unholy essence has been utterly absorbed. It is unable to be reborn, not even in the Immaterium. 
Are you certain about that? Our readings are conclusive. This changes everything, Inquisitor. I need time to evaluate the implications. And with the greater demon gone, a part of the Chaos God has been destroyed forever. Soon she will be the most sought-after individual in the galaxy. Who are you? Where am I? I am an Inquisitor of the Holy Ordos. I've been looking for you for a very long time. You are safe. Do you know who you are? I... I don't know. I... I don't remember. Did I just kill this... creature? You are the greatest weapon in the history of mankind, and you need to be protected at all costs. I can sense the power in me, but I can't control it. What is happening to me? Believe me, you are special. You can change the future of the Imperium, for better or worse. Klosterheim, what are you doing with her? Accept my apologies, my mentor. We all have our roles to play, and you have fulfilled your destiny. Now she needs my protection. Open that door now! Don't you see that there is no one you can trust? Puritans or radicals, they are nothing but babbling fools. They would kill her, or lock her away without using her powers for the Imperium. This is heresy! This is what Uther Tiberius wanted. I will protect her until she can fulfill her true potential. Trust me, the day will come when she leads our glorious armies into the warp. You have no power over this ship! Quite the contrary. While you were away, I convinced the machine's spirit that it was for this exact turn of events that Uther created it. You will die out there! I'm ready for the sacrifice it takes. The Emperor protects, Inquisitor. Now you should leave. Tech Priest, I want a location for Klosterheim immediately! The time is running out. The Inquisitor has gained access to the navigational systems. The Martyr has turned on the warp engines. Killer shields are still compromised. I don't care! There is a 78.3% chance that warp travel will kill you. Then we will all die! Collected data indicates that the proximity of the Alpha subject could protect the Inquisitor. It won't protect you. Curses be upon you, Klosterheim! Inquisitor, you have returned. What happened? I found the Alpha Pariah. She is the weapon that could be our salvation or our total destruction. And I had to let her go. The Martyr is preparing to enter the warp. Is the Alpha Pariah dead? The Alpha Pariah is very much alive. She is still under Uther's protection, in a way. What happens now? I have a strong suspicion that we have not heard the last of her. She has a grand destiny to fulfill. But I swear by the Emperor, should she turn against what I hold sacred, I will destroy her.